Okay, this is right here is a zip file. Yours might look a little different if you have 7-zip or you have uh, tug-zip or owl-zip or look a little different. Uh, this is a uh, Renoir zip file. Anyways, if you're downloading a movie or a program, it might be in a zip file like this. Uh, sometimes movies they'll have all kinds of zip files that goes all the way down, down. Just con a lot of them. The only thing you need to do is unzip the first one. That's just about it. So the best thing to do is right click. Now that you have 7-zip, when you right click, you go here and then you go to extract to and then a file name. Okay? That's what you want to do because if you do that, it will extract it to a file. If you use one of the other ones, like extract here, or, or just extract files, it's going to do it all over the place and we don't want to do all that. It's going to be too difficult. And it's just much more easier and less complicated. If you normally go to, which normally is the third one, uh, the third extract, and it just says extract to free meter. If you have Renoir, it's the same thing. If you have tug zip, same thing. Owl zip, same thing. You want to extract to and then the folder name. Uh, and it makes a new folder. And it looks like this. And then you should be able to open it and install the program if it's the program that you download. Or just go ahead and play the movie if it's a movie that you downloaded. Okay, another good site to download from is ISO Hunt. You can download programs from there as well, and movies and stuff like that. Okay, now if you're downloading movies, there's a couple of softwares that you're going to need to uh, burn them onto DVD. One of the softwares you're going to need is ImageBurn. So, you go to cnetsdownload.com. Once you're on CNET, you type in ImageBurn. You can also download ImageBurn from another, another site if you like. But I'm showing you from download.com. Next, you scroll down until you see Image Burn right here. Uh, don't go to the advertisements. Just go right here. Once you do that, you can click on Download. Save the file. Save it to wherever you want. I got mine going to desktop. And then you just want to install the file. And once you're done, it's going to run. Another program you're going to need is DVD Flip. Now, I know what some of you guys have said. It's too slow. It's running slow. Hey, it's free, okay? There's other programs out there that you can use to do this as well. Uh, just type in uh, DVD Burner Freeware. And you might be able to find some other free software out there. But in my opinion, I think DVD does the best. No matter what software you get out there, it's going to take a long time to uh, burn them onto disk anyways. It, if you find something quicker, hey, let me know. I'll check it out and see if it's better. Then I'll let everybody else know. But anyhow, once you go to DVD Flick, you want to go to DVDflick.net. Uh, if you type in Google and type in DVD Flick, and then click on DVD Flick, which is the first one. It'll take you to DVDflick.net. And then you click on Download. And then you go down here and download DVD Flick. Save the file. Save the desktop. Okay. Next one we want to do is we want... We want to install it, so we'll click on it and we're going to install it. Alright, next. Accept. Right, so, force your firewall is going to ask you. I'm going to go ahead and hit trusted application. Hit OK. And wait for it to install. I'll be back. And do the last three parts. I'm going to go ahead and hit run because I want it to start up. Finish. And here it goes. It's going to start up. When it first comes up, it'll give you a uh, welcome to DVD flip screen. Now, I've already got a movie. I've already uh, unzipped it if it was in a zip file. And now I'm ready to put it on uh, DVD flip. 
this is the first program that you're going to use okay and then you're going to use image burn I'm going to show you why you had to download image burn here in a minute because uh, DVD flick uses image burn to burn them onto discs the only thing DVD flick does is to turn them into video TS files so that image burn will burn them onto a disc for you so that was the point of downloading image burn okay now to add a movie to here what you need to do is go over here where it says add title then pick where it is where is it at is it on your desktop or is it in my documents or anywhere else you know just have it go there and pick the video out uh, right now I got it in my craps folder and it's on my desktop so I'm gonna click on the file and I'm gonna open it and then it's gonna be put on uh, DVD flicks here now uh, the next thing I want to do is go to project settings okay now in project settings I can do I can change some some of the setting stuff on the general the video audio playback and the burning now on a burning one you want it to burn the project to disk this is how you get it to automatically burn the disk is to click on this part right here and it'll automatically burn it to disk what DVD flick will do it are already it will convert it into video TS files and then it would open up the image burn program which that's what I had right here I had you to install and it'll open up that program and burn it onto disk for you and the last thing you need to do is just uh, hit accept and also if you want to have some menus you can have it to have some menus make your own little menus and stuff and the last thing you do is just hit create DVD and from there it would uh, okay it, once you click create DVD it says it's going to uh, be burned to disk and everything once done you click OK now if you already have something in that file it's going to say it's going to delete whatever's in the file but that's you know pretty much what it is now as you can see here it did all that and now it opened up image burn now the movie that I put in there was very very short so it looked like it went real fast but normally it'll take us a while to do uh, some people says it takes an hour some people says it takes two hours uh, but if it takes a lot longer than that then you probably have to close the program out and redo it or download another movie let's minimize that now once I've done it automatically open up uh, image burn and normally if you have a disk in there it'll automatically start burning it to disk I don't believe you have to do anything else but I don't want to burn this little thing to it in waste of a DVD. So anyhow, that's pretty much how you do it. I know this is a long tutorial, but hopefully this will answer most of you guys' questions about MooTurn and how the, how to download movies. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If you like my videos and you want to help to support them, just go over here in the description area and click on subscribe. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and click on subscribe here which for you will be subscribed another way you can help to support my videos is go to the first link right here and that will take you to my donation page and you can donate if you like you don't have to uh, or if you're not on YouTube you can go to my uh, website at daddyjamesfilms.webs.com and then click on the links button and once you click on the links button it will take you to the, my links page and while you're there you can check out a few other great programs on there that you can uh, get and then click on the first link and that will take you to my links page and you can donate hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you and have a nice day